Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 15. Last time we took on the Academy of Rhea Lucaria um, and dealt with Queen Renala of the Full Moon, which was super exciting. And something that's also very exciting about today's episode is there was a new update that dropped. It was a new update that dropped for the game um, that has added NPCs to the map that we've encountered. Look at that. Niriel, the pastor of vows, is right there. A finger reader, a finger reader crony that I didn't even, that I haven't even met yet. That I've obviously just walked right past. Let's go there. Um, White Mask, um, White Mask Vare is, is staying at the church. Um, Oh, this is cool. So they've, they've added our little NPCs that we've encountered, which means I can take all of my uh, my markers off the map. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I haven't actually read all of the patch notes myself, um, but uh, there was a discussion, uh, at least notified to me, um, in relation to the NPC additions. There's been some changes to NPCs in terms of uh, quests. I don't know what changes are made. I don't think anyone knows what changes have been made, just that some changes have been made um, and that their locations have actually been marked on the map, which I think is is quite useful. Uh, it is quite useful. Um, I've been keeping track of them myself with the, with the markers, but that does free up a lot of marker space. <laughs> it frees up marker space, so that's good. Uh, and it's that was where we found Alexander, so obviously he's moved, so he's not on the map anymore, so I can just remove that. Uh, all of the merchants have been marked as well, so that allows us to run through and uh, and cross stuff off. Uh, Kenneth is, is here at Fort Height. We can get rid of that marker, because we know what that is. Um, we can't, however... We can't, however... Um, we can mark a side of grace, but we can't like tick it off as complete. So I'll keep my skulls. Um, I'll keep my skulls next to my ever jails just to confirm that I have um, completed them. Yura is still there, so we can we'll actually be able to see that. So this is this is nice, especially from a, a merchant perspective. Um, where you're like, oh, I just really want to see where certain people are, you know. So that's that's good that we can deal with that. We've got Sorcerer Topes, which is at the Church of Irith. Patches is here. Uh, the Blackguard is there. We're really going to have to check out this Finger Reader, because obviously we've, we've missed them. We haven't gone through um, and explored all of Academy Gate Town, I suppose. We've, we've still got more of that to do. Can't even remember what that is related to, so we will see. Um, that is... I believe, a mausoleum turtle. Uh, that's more mausoleum turtles. So they're not marked on the map after you've dealt with them, so you still have to do that one manually. So that's one to keep in mind. Um, I think those were all the previous NPCs that I had marked. Oh, look, there's one here as well. There's Sorcerer Selen at the Waypoint Ruins. Um... Isolated Merchant is here. Interestingly enough, in the Witchbane Ruins, there is that character um, that is tied up against the Sorcerer, that's tied up against the wall, but is not marked as an NPC yet, because I guess maybe because we haven't spoken to them, they won't actually, like, communicate with us. I'll keep that marker there uh, in that instance, because potentially there's more for us to, to do there. Um, so we'll have to check in with our sorcerers, especially now that we've um, cleared out and dealt with Rhea Lucaria and had a chat with uh, Renala. There might be some changes there. Uh, we do have to continue exploring Rhea Lucaria as well because we need to get uh, patches said, you know, something about getting to like the bottom of a water wheel. So we need to get down to the bottom of that place as well before we push on and proceed. Oh, there's also another finger reader. So the finger readers are just marked out on the map, I guess, when the map gets filled in, because we haven't been over here to speak to this finger reader either. So we'll have to keep that in mind too. 
Um, let's keep things localized for, for now. Let's go and have a look at this finger eater and then check in with some NPCs. We'll check in with Selen. Academy Gate Town. Uh, now, um, it'll be a good idea for us to check who and what NPCs have gotten some some changes and updates uh, in the latest update that that dropped, um, and see see what happens. I wonder if there's something to do with um, Dialos and Lanya, considering that we totally lost them. Uh, could be a good idea for us to check with people in the round table hold as well. Um, see if there's any updates with them. Oh, Finger Eater will be up there. Gotcha. Uh, I think I already... already. No, I haven't gotten this one. Oh, there's a fucking golden seed right in Gate Town. Yeah, we need to check out this place a little bit more. Um, we'll check in... check in with Kenneth again. Um... Giant crab. We don't want to check in with those. Uh, we'll check in with we'll check in with Renala naturally. Such a unique thing as well, like Renala being one of the few surviving bosses after you kill them turns into a uh, an NPC. Such a curious little curious little turn of events there. We've got more golden runes here. Yeah. I'm looking for a way up, and it is, uh, it is not working out. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, that's the gate. I could just spawn at the gate, and then just run back. Maybe that'd work. Hold on. If I spawn at the main gate, ah, oh, that'll run me straight to her. Alright, I'll do that. <laughs> Instead of going to gate town. Um, because we haven't run down this pathway yet. We have not run down here yet. We got transported here, we went right into Ray Lucaria when we could finally get in. But this area is unexplored up here. So, probably a good idea for us to check this out. Hello. See that? See my fancy moves? Ooh, blue, white, wooden shield. Got a new shield. The design is said to represent the stars of the night sky, portending fate. That's cool. Okay. Actually, you know what? Since it's facing behind, I wonder if we'll be able to uh, get a sneak attack. I wonder if we'll be able to get a sneak attack. and kill the person that's in the, the thing. Oh, well that didn't work out. Alright, you guys need to come over here, otherwise we're going to disturb the, the big fiery head. Is there a way for us, because the... It said that they're weak from the top. Is that that note that we've read? Uh, they're weak from the top, that little fiery spot on top of their head, but I'm wondering if there's a way for uh, us to get up even higher and to, like, drop down on it to do that. Because otherwise it's a little... it seems like it's a little tough. Now, we can't sneak up on these guys because you can't backstab them. Which means that thing's just going to notice us, yep. It's just going to notice us straight away. Now it's going to know that we're here, right? Does it know that we're here? It seemingly knows that we're here, but I don't know. It's investigating. The big head is investigating. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. Oh, the big head's turning around to investigate again. It's like, what's that noise? I hear it in my flaming ears. It doesn't know we're here, guys. Look, it's looking around. It's like, what was that noise? Whose footsteps are these? Now, how do we... Yes! He's still alive, though. 
problem. He's not in the thing? Okay, we got it. <laughs> Hell yeah. You can backstab him, but it's not an insta-kill. I love these like turn turning around, like there was a noise here. That's so funny. Smithing stone. It's a full It's a full ass place. Um and we'll run up here to go and chat with the uh the finger maiden. See what she has to say. Even though this is kind of uh Oh god. Kind of before, uh, you know, we were supposed to speak to her before we went into Ray Lucaria, I assume. Does she pop up on the on the map at all? No. Even though it's on the the main map, it doesn't pop up on the compass at the top. But here she is, chilling out. I wouldn't have, uh, and I wouldn't have found her if it wasn't for the uh, for the map. So that's very interesting. Or I mean, I might have found her when I eventually came back here, but. I will admit to the fact that I kind of forgot about this area and this was a solid reminder. So it's very interesting that they've added these, but only for the finger readers. Um, like it's not, I'm not seeing NPCs that I haven't met or something littered throughout the map, except for the finger readers. You, blood your finger. Your fingers. Oh, bless you. Oh. Mikela's favor can be yours. Mikela's favor can be yours. <sighs> slaughter. 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 <sighs> the all hearing slaughtered. But alas, it was for naught. But all you need do is snatch it. From the big pot. <laughs> Pity the poor, poor fool. <laughs> Snatch it from the poor. Snatch it from the poor pot. Interesting. Uh, hmm. We can gain Michaela's favor. You're. Mikela's favor, the all hearing slaughtered, but it was for nothing. Snatch it from the big pot. So we've got the all hearing, similar to how Gideon is called the all knowing. Uh, I've got, like, our recent notes that we wrote down, by the way, is there's an audience with Queen Marika at Lane Dell. Uh, we've got to find more information in regards to the curse mark of destined death, because we've got some more information in regards to the black knife, pin, uh, knife print rune uh, that someone stole. And then, you know, they did that whole Knight of the Black Knife thing to kill the first Elden Lord. Uh, in Rhea Lucaria, Patches mentioned the Iron Virgin, which we need to find at the base of the big water wheel. And then Blythe mentioned a blacksmith to find as well. Uh, both of those things we haven't done yet. Uh, so we'll have to... we'll have to see. Um... You... Okay. Your, your fingers. Let's check out more of Academy Gate Town while we're here. And see what we can see what we can find. Down these stairs, I believe. I also find it very interesting that we're we're not too far past release. Like it, it's been out for the game's been out for less than a month. Uh, the game's been out for less than a month, and they've already added or like made changes to NPC quest lines, which I find to be quite peculiar. Because um, it's like, was it was it planned? Was it delayed? Uh, was it like bugged, like these weird sort of mistakes in regards to um, were they like mistakes, just unfinished quest lines that you didn't have ready by launch, and now they've and now they've added them. That's sort of like the question. That's sort of like the question I have. It's uh, it's quite curious because obviously there are people that have 
people that have finished the game at this point, uh, but they might not have a primary focus on getting anything and everything. Like, there are people that are on multiple <laughs> New Game Pluses, I assume, at this point. Um, but for the people that are probably doing like those thorough story-based playthroughs, I can imagine that, especially for a first playthrough, it'd be kind of like disheartening to be like, oh, they've updated or changed a bunch of this, this stuff um, that I'm now too far gone, or like, you know, I've gone too far into the game to really benefit from those changes on my first time. And that's kind of like the interesting thing for me as well, is like, this is my first time playing a, a Souls game, you know, I use Souls loosely, you know, um, a From Software game on release. So it's really, it's really an interesting uh, and different experience uh, on release than it is um, when you've, you know, played it years later when the DLC is already out, when it's like the complete finished patched experience, that sort of thing. Like when we've been playing uh, like Dark Souls and that game has has DLC uh, is like, obviously I, I got, I was lucky enough to be able to play that game uh, with all the DLC and everything included, but obviously it came out at a different at a different time, you know. Which I think is the the interesting thing about a new game that's just come out and and one that's already kind of wrapped up. We got a new Ash of War. Charge forth. Charge forth, Ash of War. Let's have a look. Quickly charge forward with the armament at a great at the hip, carrying uh, the momentum into a thrust hold to cover a greater distance. Usable on pole arms. The quality affinity. Alright. So we got another scarab. We've spoken to a finger maiden in the gate town. And obviously we could see the pathway leading upwards was just around here. Protected by some soldiers. Presumably of uh you know, ex carrion royalty, those types of soldiers. And then I guess we've got, like, what I assume to be, I don't know what type of creatures they are, we haven't got any items about them yet, uh, but I think it's like the potentially inhabitants um, of the, the villages of the town that was here before, like those kind of aquatic fish looking people um, that reside in Gate Town. Ooh, I got a chest here. Stone sword key. Wonderful. That reminds me, we also have a magic stone sword key. We've got a different type of one that we got to use. So that's also going to be quite interesting. Uh, where are we at the moment? We're still running around. I should go back this way. I'm not, not sure if there's much else significant in Gate Town. Um, just ruins and items and we've just gotten that chest, but... Also a bunch of skelly boys. Because I already ran through the ground segment quite a bit. That I think it might be okay for us to just kind of push past this. Got that finger reader. Uh, I'm going to go check on Sorceress Selen. Um, then I'm going to check in on that Sorceress that isn't talking to us down the bottom. Um, we're not going to speak to Topes yet because... I don't, I'm not sure whether we... I think we need to find a second glintstone key. There you are. Shall we commence the... Oh, yeah, we got the Conspectus scroll, right. Oh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. I forgot that we got a scroll. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Cool. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. My apprentice. Sounds like such a Jedi thing. Um, it was like Star Shower and Glinstone Stars, I think is the new one here. The Comet Shard, I think, as well. Um, fires a magical comet with a trailing tail. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly and while in motion. A sorcery of the Carolos Conspectus, the most venerable of the Academy. A sorcery of Alivinus Conspectus, which attracts sorcerers from Celia, Town of Sorcery which we have run through in a panicked state in my first episode of the playthrough. We ended up in Celia, Celia, Town of Sorcery. Um, this, the most difficult to master of the Olivenous Conspectus sorceries, fires six magic shooting stars that pursue the target. This sorcery can be cast while in motion. Charging enhances potency. Cool. 
That's Selen. Now, if we go to the uh, Witchbane ruins, we'll see if this sorcerer or sorceress, or sorcerer, will just like says anything. Um, and we'll have a look. I'm, I'm not sure. Potentially, maybe if you encountered this one first, um, instead of Selen, because maybe there would be some changes. Because we have to remember that, like, um, ah, we have to remember that we were asked to be, uh, God, asked to be an uh, apprentice. We had to say yes for that. So this one is not marked on the map. I don't know, it almost makes me just want to be like, what purpose do you serve? Oh! It just added it. But it says Sorceress Selen. I thought her name was Selen. Is it the s hmm? Sorcerer Selen is in two places at once. Because if we go up here... Uh, where am I going? If we go... Here. Sorcerer's Topes. So yeah, Sorcerer Tops. So it's it's definitely like their name. Sorcerer Selen. It's the same person? So if I was to kill... If I was to kill her here, would she be dead? In the other ruins? I'm confused, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. That's really weird. I don't know whether it's like a bug, whether the name is not supposed to be that name, but Selen's right here, dude. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Maybe like one's an illusion. She puts she's put one in the Witchbane ruins to be like this is my this is fake me. Because she's in exile. I don't know, man. Uh, regardless, I, I, I don't think that's worth pursuing or following up on in that case. Because it doesn't really do anything. Um, we're now going to go speak with Kenneth. We'll follow up with Kenneth. Uh, where's my little... I don't think this is... Is this a new one? O oh, sapling, sweet sapling of glorious gold, has your crystal teardrop ripened? Uh, where's the wind? Where's our little wind that we can fall down on in the mistwood? I'm looking for my way down. So I can safely drop. I forgot where it is. Where's my drop? Well, we're actually closer to the ground now, I think. I think it's further up the other way. I think I could safely drop from here. Yep, I can safely drop from there. Yeah, it makes this very, very curious way to play for the first time, because I've been taking my, taking my time, so... Holy fuck. I've been taking my time, so obviously, you know, playing like part way through the playthrough when an update comes in that kind of adds or changes some things is um, quite interesting, especially when it's a game like this. We're going the wrong way for starters. We're supposed to be going down this pathway. <laughs> I got thrown off guard from the bear. I'm gonna go back this way.
I'm wondering if uh, a test that we could do. What is this? Why do we have a summon sign here? Near. Oh no, that's a message. That's the message that the merchant says, come hang out, right? Yeah, open for business. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. What? For a second, I thought there was a summon sign. No, guys. I'm going to speak with Kenneth. Master at Fort... What's it called? Fort Height. That's right, last name. Fort Height. Okay, we haven't been here in a while. If we look on the map, I think the way that they position it is they just position the NPC icon. Like, I don't know if it's where they're located or whether if it's to a location, it looks like it's just like tagged onto the side point. So I don't know where if Kenneth, I'm assuming Kenneth would be back up the top again, up here. So let's have a look. So he was, um, we haven't spoken to him in a while anyway. And last we checked with him, yep, he is still here. He was, uh, the last note that I have with Kenneth, God, get down from here. The last note that I have with Kenneth. Servant of the... No, it just says Servant of the True Order, but he was... I think he was looking for someone worthy. I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord yeah. of proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Okay, so he hasn't changed... We'll keep a pin in this one, though, because obviously he's got something to do, so maybe we need to proceed further into the game. Um, maybe if we proceed further into the game, we'll have some changes for, for, that, for that boy. But for now, nothing. You reckon I can make this fall? Yes. <laughs> I can. God, I love hanging out near the Erd Tree at night. Isn't it so beautiful? So pretty. Hanging out near a minor herb tree at night. Um, Sorceress Selen being marked in two places at once is so peculiar for me. Uh, maybe let's have a chat with Knight Banal. It's been a while since we checked in with Banal as well. We've got him on here. I need to remember to actually mark that he's the Ash of War guy on our map. So all I have is just his name with no context. Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Bell bearing hunter? What the fuck? Whoa! Okay, his sword is magic. It flies. Fuck me, dude. Bell bearing hunter? Is it because I've got a bell bearing that he's trying to kill me? Oh, he's got the fucking. He's got the the thing. The, the dark hand thing. What the fuck? He's hunting me because I've got bell bearings. Look at that sword, dude. Holy fuck. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Hunter with thorn armor, dude. Hunter of Thorns. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Um, well, Banal is still marked on the map. Oh, there he is. What the fuck? Oh, is it a nighttime thing? You, when you leave, someone else comes here, bud. Uh, hello. Here to learn about. I'm glad to see you safe. What the fuck? Um... Dude, what the f what the hell? Um, until we meet again, okay, sure. 
uh, past time until nightfall. What the fuck, dude? Alright, so there's a bell bearing hunter here. Should have maybe, uh, no, no heads up, huh? Just straight up into it. Maybe not nightfall? You're still... Okay. Maybe I just need to, like... Maybe if we travel instead of uh, resting at that same point. Yeah, okay, traveling works. Traveling is how you get it to work. Ooh, shoot. Ah, he's spinning it up like a fucking drill, dude. Oh my god. Whoa! I don't- Dude, that's some range you got there, bud. Stop! Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Ah, uh, that's so- that's so cool for like the- Ah! Oh! It's so cool for the hitbox, man. I actually love that so much. Oh, it's so cool. And then he, when he pulls it back, it does even more damage to me. That's fucking cool, dude. I want that sword, man. That's a cool weapon. Drill attack! Oh god, don't want to get caught into that either. Whoa! Fucking hell. Enemy felled. Bone peddler's bell bearing. Well, we got a new bell bearing from the bell bearing hunter. Holy shit. Um, alright, let's rest here until morning. Um, holy crap. <laughs> let's rest here until morning. Bud, do you know what you've got here at night? Uh, hello. Here to learn a battle of... Nothing? What the fuck? He doesn't even make a reference to it? Holy shit. Well. Okay, I came in to check in with you, but there was something something else here. Holy fuck. Okay, uh, that's Night Banal. What other NPCs have we got on the map that we could check in with? I don't think Yura has anything... I don't think Yura has anything for us. Oh! But we can go to the church. We can go to the Church of Dragon Communion because we killed another dragon. Wait. Well, you're... B um, every time he says wait, weren't you, it really confuses me. Um, Dragon Communion. We're just checking off some stuff on the list because I want to see, like, what we can, uh, what we can do with the stuff that we got, like, in the past couple of episodes. And then I'm also checking to see changes for the, uh, for the update and stuff. Ritual of Dragon Communion. So, okay, so it's not a new ability that was added, but it's, we have the ability to unlock one of these. Okay. Channels Dragon to bite foes or rend foes with Dragon Claws. Uh, I'll just get the Dragon Claw one. Obviously, we still don't have the requirements to even do anything with this, but we'll do it anyway. I'm assuming there must be three dragons in this game then, so we need a, a, a third one. And then maybe something will happen, and then we'll speak to Yura after that. Because um, what is his? What's his full name? His full name is Hunter of Bloody Fingers. Yeah, that's right. Um, nomadic Merchant. Vare is the one who gave us another Bloody Finger, isn't he? Like he's curious. White Mask Vare. Um, finger Reader. Interesting. We need to... Ah, oh, this is another thing we need to do. We need to figure out the carry and study hole to get up there. Oh, we've got another... Uh, we've got the, another artist's thing, which I think, um, as we looked on the map, 
needs to have Ray Lucari here and the Erd Tree off to the side. So I think that's... It might actually be up here. Or here. Uh, this is where we need to... I think this is the mana as well to deal with Witch Renner. Um... She's, she's hi Rani is hiding out at a manor north of Ray Lucaria. God, there's so much going on, dude. There's so much going on. Um, at least I don't have to mark my NPCs anymore. That's quite that's quite nice. I am going to go back through. Uh, we're going to go back through here. We need to find our way down. Obviously, we've got the giant water wheel with the part with the lift that we took up. But then there's. We need to figure out how to get over the other side with the lift that goes down. So when we enter, uh, this is the main gate. This is where we go in. The water wheel is... It's not marked on the map, so I, I can't remember exactly where the water wheel is. Let's start at the Church of the Kaku and see where that goes. We need to try and find the way down, the other side of the water wheel, to get to the base. There's also a blacksmith here, apparently. Uh, that's another thing to... Another thing to look out for. Hang on. Oh, yes. This is the beginning where we've got the ladder that we kicked down. Okay. This is our lovely graveyard walk. There is a pathway down here. I'm just gonna fucking jump. Oh no, I, I remember where this is. But hold on, we haven't gone we haven't gone down here. But I think you get down there via a much more accessible pathway. Ah, it's just a. Okay, never mind. This is where we were when we fell off the bridge that time. What is that? It's just, ah, oh, it's just like light peeking in on the wall. Hello, boys. Let you guys enjoy your graveyard. Maybe we should do a test. Maybe we should run through the, uh, the tree sentinel area and see if we've got frame drops since the, since the update. <laughs> See if it's fixed the uh, the stuttering. Yeah, we need to get over that side. Do you reckon that it's possible for us to stay on over the and to go around? I don't think so. I think we'd fall right through it. Is there? There's got to be a way up there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna avoid that dude. I don't want to party with him because this will begin to curve around, and so does this platform. Actually, I've got an idea. There are multiple platforms. Yes. I'm just dudes watching. Okay. Haha! <laughs> we didn't need to find another platform, we just needed to walk up around it. Okay, we're going down. This is how we get down to the bottom. Oh shit, that was. I think that was our... Uh, oh, it goes down even further. Holy shit. It does go down even further. Oh, fuck. It goes down even further. Oh, no. Alright. There, there was another jumping, jumping opportunity. That I should have taken. But also we ended up at the bottom. So we'll do the bottom first. It fucking just... <gasps> I didn't know I could do that. Just fucking charge after me. Oh, it's got different. It's got different weapons. It's got fucking spiky wheels. Holy fuck! Oh! Holy shit! Ah, oh, this is the perfect time to test out my theory of the uh, the hammer being able to do stronger damage. But it's going to take me a long while to figure that out. Long tail cat talisman. I'll check that out in a sec too. Alright. I've changed my mind. I'm just gonna do this. We're just gonna try and do small damage to it. Whoa! 
God, look at his fucking arms! Like, snake arms thing. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, these enemies are insane. Fucking hell. Okay, so the wheels curve around. I don't think there's a way for us to get back up on the wheels. We have to go up manually. You know, make, go the long way around. Alright, but if you go too far down, you get fucked up. By one of those. But I saw that there was an item up here. In the fog. Lost Ashes of War, okay. Um, we got a new talisman. Oh yeah, and I can equip a third one, because we got another talisman pouch. Hell yeah. Uh, Longtail Cat Talisman renders the wearer immune to fall damage. Holy shit. A brooch depicting Lacrima, the long-tailed cat, renders the wearer immune to fall damage. However, it cannot prevent falling to one's death. Okay. Lacrima features in the fables of Rhea Lucaria, in which she is described as a fairy cat who is fond of playing in the Great Bell Tower. That's cute. So, we now take less fall... We, we take no fall damage, but if it's a fall that will from a great height that will kill you, you will still die. <laughs> Doesn't make you immune to death. You can't leave the area. That's cool. Hidden cat talisman, baby. Okay, so this isn't as low as I was intending to go. Well, this is the bottom of the water wheel, right? So hang on, Iron Virgin. Oh! fucking patches. That is the Iron Virgin, the thing that we just killed. Again, it was a trap. Now, he was talking about something that could do transposition. Well, just let it grab you and put it in its little cage. And I'm sure you'll be transposed to death. Well, we made it to the bottom of the water wheel, guys. And yet again, with Patches' little laugh, it was a it was another haha -ha funny from Patches. Maybe we'll talk to him now that we've been to the bottom. And we'll see what he has to say. Ah, uh, this is our way back up. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Now, I think we have to make this journey again. Ooh, hang on. I think we have to make the journey again. Because... There's, there was another platform to drop off of and we, and we missed it right there. Next one. We got our water wheel navigational experience. You actually know where I got the idea for this, uh, for, for the change in rotation of this, uh, of this water wheel. Uh, oh, actually, I think we could jump off there. I'm immune to fall damage. That was, that was still a death from a great height. Okay. I should have jumped way earlier. <laughs> Where I got the idea uh, is actually from a raid in Destiny. Uh, in Destiny 2, uh, there is a raid that you s very much specifically... <laughs> um, I'll go from here. As a raid we specifically go on like a thing where it's like turning and you have to just sit yourself on the very tip of it as it curves over and then you stay on the other side and then you can get to another another ledge. So I actually got that one from I got that one from Destiny. Now Where are we here? Oh, there's an item up there. Hold on. How do I get up there? Do I have to jump up? No. How do I... Hmm. It's not a height that I can get to. Right. I'm stuck. Right, you guys need to leave me be. I'm busy. I haven't, have I even been in here? I don't even think I've been in here. Crystal dart. This looks like it should have a thing to like push it to make these work. And they don't. Interesting. Okay. Is, I think this, is this a different water wheel? This 
might be a different one. Oh no, it's the same one, but from a different side. Right, right, right. Same one, different side. God, I'm just getting so confused. He got scared. He's like, oh. Okay. Now, there's a ledge here that we need to step off of, and then fuck, where are my runes actually? Ah, uh, like where would they? Where would the game put my runes? It's gonna put them on the bottom, isn't it? My runes would be where I last fell. Yeah, there you go. You can see him. Oh fuck! Ah oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I should have sprint jumped! No! I should have sprint jumped. Fuck. Why did I think that that was going to be fine? It's fine. I made an attempt to go back for my runes. An attempt was made. Unfortunately, it was a wasted attempt. Oh, guys, look, my runes! <laughs> Never fucking mind, dude. <laughs> Oh, it's silly shit, man. Silly shit. Okay. Let's head back down. Who needs runes, anyway? Well, that no falling damage talisman has, has worked wonders, guys. It's worked, it's worked wonders. Ooh, I wonder if we'll be able to get up into the fucking tower from this one. Ooh. I wonder if we can finally get up into that tower, because I was... This is where I was expecting to go when we first got here. I was like, big tower. Big old tower. Does that do a little bit of investigate? Okay. So, this is not the bottom of the water wheel, but like... Uh, a bottom point. Bodies. That one's alive. It's got glowing eyes. Oh! Ah! It's one of these fuckers! Not one of these fuckers, dude. I hate these fucking guys. Kill these guys first. Oh, they're all waking up. Ooh, we got soldier ashes. Avionet soldier ashes. Nice. Spirits of the Marionette soldiers with a uh, avian features that were created to serve a sorcerer. Equipped with long ha hafted scythes, they also attack from the skies by lobbing fire pots. Can sometimes malfunction when damaged. Oh, we can- No! No entrance to the fucking- Oh, bullshit. Okay. Just ashes. Damn, I was expect- Again, I got excited. I was expecting more. Okay. Well, there's still- There was still more to Rei Lucario, which was fun. Uh, the bottom still <laughs> houses that Iron Virgin. Uh, I'm going to check in with Patches now that I've encountered it too. And I'll see if he's got anything to say about that. The, the liar! The goddamn liar, as usual, dude. Oi, buddy. Hello again. What you spoke of before. Oh yeah. Great, there's a surviving Iron Virgin at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And I heard, if you let yourself get caught in it, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Ur tree. <laughs> Meanwhile, you get caught in it and it just fucks you up and spits you Cheers. out. Cheers for that. You fucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's, tri he's tricked us again. As usual. Um, so that's Ray Lucaria. We made it to the bottom. There is a blacksmith? Apparently there's a blacksmith? Um, I think Blythe has moved on, so I don't know if we can even talk to him anymore. Um, underground has that... Yeah, Underground has that merchant as well. The abandoned merchant. Um... Hermit Merchant in here, which we actually forgot to mark on our map out of that confusion, which we still haven't figured out how to get through any of that. Um, got that minor earth tree. Choices, choices of where to go. Um, 
Maybe I need to figure out the Carrion Study Hall, because it's the that's the Divine Tower of Leonia. Um, cool. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go to... We're going to get up here. Um, I think we have to do it from here. You get up here, and then we can make a long journey up this way and do all of this to get to this minor Erd tree. And then I'm not... doesn't look like it, but I'm wondering if there's a way to figure out this area up here. So we're going to go to Sorcerer's Isle, where it has a door that's closed because there was a riddle. Not a riddle, but like a, a note on there that like to open that. You need to deal with, like, three beasts or something. So, I'm not sure what that's about yet. Uh, but if we look out this way... Yeah, so that's the manor all the way up there that we need to go to. On behalf of Rogier. We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna avoid the man on horseback. Who's on patrol? Actually, he looks kind of cool, doesn't he? Look at this guy. Oh god, there's of course there's a troll. Yeah, you look cool, bud. Get, I'm hunting you down. He's trying to like, trying to get around to a point where he can lance me. Get knocked off your horse, son. Do better at staying up on your horse. Look at that armor that he's got. That's cool. The horse is all decked out as well. Oh, we got another of these. Oh, that reminds me. I never did do the one that was back in Limgrave, did I? I should do that. We should clear out the, the patrol. There's so many of them, dude. Holy fuck. Actually, I should get myself a lance myself that I could use to actually do some damage. I gotta upgrade it though, otherwise it'll do shit all damage. I'm like not locking on so I can try and get more Whoa! not locking on so I can try and get more group shots, but it's not really working out. Oh fuck. Don't throw a dog in this. Why are you locked on at an enemy all the way in the distance? Why are you locking on at enemies in the distance? Lock on to the What the fuck? The way that lock on works in this game feels weirder than they like the ones before. Um, it's not locking on at the most obvious enemies right in front of me. But choosing to lock on to the ones that are further away doesn't make much sense to me, but okay. Okay. Those are dealt with. Now we got to deal with giant boys. Giant boys, I'm here for your chest. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna miss my opportunity again, aren't I? What the fuck? Come on, man! <laughs> Oh, second try. Second chance? Let's get him again. <laughs> no? What? What the fuck? I'm so confused. Alright, we'll just do it the, that way then. Okay. Why are you just chilling? Oh god, you're just baiting me. Okay. Alright, I can get you. There we go. Yeah! Right in the eyeball. Someone's mad. <laughs> Alright. Boom. I mean, I'd be mad too if I have a giant chain thing like going through my gut. Like, doesn't look very comfortable. 
Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, carry a knight sword. That looks cool. Straight sword embedded with blue glintstone. Weapon of knights sworn to carry in royalty. These knights swords could serve as catalysts, letting them wield sorcerous battle skills. Despite numbering fewer than 20, this power made them a match for even the champions of gold in battle. Carry in grandeur. Carry in royal prestige embodied in a skill. Transform blade into a magical greatsword and swing it down. Can be charged to increase its power by up to two levels. So you can make it into a magical greatsword and... It can, uh, it can cast sorceries? It serves as a catalyst. Holy shit. Oh, man. Can I have a version of that that's literally my Uji Katana, though? That would be so much nicer. That's like a, uh, that scales with my thing. Uh, I'm gonna quickly... We need to make a little Limgrave detour, because I remember that there... I think it's the... Agil Lake. I think? No. I think it's walking, they're walking along this pathway. Fuck, it's one of these. Let's just go to the waypoint ruins and try and find this. Because this is a chest that I haven't opened yet from like early game. This is like early game stuff. I feel like this probably wasn't the best uh, one to jump out of. But if I look around here... Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done this one yet. Da, 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 da. Let's see what it's because it's gonna be it's gonna be some early game shit. What is it? Alright. Get off your horse. Ah not the fire. Okay. I knew that was gonna happen. Not by any of the big enemies, but by the little bitches. It's always the hollows with torches, man. They'll get you. What do you hope to achieve with that, bud? Gonna play me a tune? Play me a little song? A little song and dance? Oh, I got an aristocrat hat. Hey guys, I got an aristocrat hat. Aristocrat hat, where is that? Where's that hat? Leather hat decorated with a withered feather. Travel attire worn by nobles in the capital and the belonging of a family which claims a knight as an ancestor. Abandoning their birthplace after the shattering, these undead wanderers are the pitiful product of unending life. Ah, yes. Me good hat. Me good feathered cap, sir. <laughs> Love it. Royal Remains armor is pretty sick. I'm gonna put my samurai gear back on. We always return to samurai in this house, unless I want to run around with two giant heads. <laughs> <sighs> Return to Samurai. Turtle Samurai, it's the only way. Let me wipe out these boys. I'm assuming these guys would be weaker being in like the opening area than those ones that I just killed. They are indeed. finally open this bad boy. What is it? What could I have had since the very beginning of the game? Hell yeah, a standard, your standard great axe. <laughs> Just your run-of-the-mill great axe. We finally did it. And apparently I'm still in battle. Come on guys, let me access my map, please. Thank you. Alright, let's leave Limgrave. We're going back up here. Back up this way. We'll take we'll make that journey we'll make that journey again up to the up to the minor erd tree Should 
journey up to the minor Erd tree. Yeah, that cliff edge is way too tall. So we definitely need a lift. We're definitely going to need that lift. So I'm assuming, yeah, that's got to be... I mean, I don't know for certain. I feel like that's Volcano Manor. It doesn't look like a volcano. But we'll see, I suppose. Rhea Lucaria looks fucking gorgeous at all times. Oh, or is that Volcano Manor? Hold on. Actually. Actually. That's Rani's Manor. That has got to be Volcano Manor. That poorly rendered building over there. This looks like a volcano. Way more than this. That's just got to be a church and a thingy. How the fuck do we get up there, though? Yeah, that location makes much more sense than what it's been, uh, with what it's been described as as well. I actually thought that once you cleared these out, they'd disappear from the map. I guess you need, just need to remember when you've looted it or not. Oh, we got another one of these fucking pumpkin head boys. Ah! Magic snipers. Okay. Just here for your chest. Not worth it. Look at this bad boy, though. I'm healing. Don't hit me. Yeah! Oh god, I hit his head. Not the way to go. Don't hit his head. Don't hit his head. Don't get hit by his head either. Thank you, bud. Sanct Sanctuary stone. Sniping asshole that. <sighs> as soon as I watched that, all of my health disappear from that one attack. Well, not all of it, but most of it from that one attack. I was like, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I was being cheeky and not healing because I was like, ah, oh, they're just a couple of foot soldiers and a dog. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Maybe that. Maybe that could happen. Oh, uh, this is going to be an annoying journey up each time. we got to make our way up this hill every single time. got to find myself a grace point. <laughs> Alright, can't be bothered. <laughs> nope. probably a better fucking, you know, instead of this falling damage on I should have the horse attack. Better attacks on horseback makes a lot of sense for me right now, I think. That's the thing, I don't even know how much better the attacks on horseback are. Especially when you miss. You there! Allow me to beat you in combat. What do you think you are, the tree sentinel? You fuck. <laughs> Get stance broken twice. Right, I don't know if it's like a huge increase to attacks, but slight, I suppose. Hello, team. Hello, hello, pals. Nice convoy you got going there. Don't allow me to get trapped. Hello friends. Good party you got going on here, innit? Hello. Ooh, we got jellyfish. Uh, I'm going the wrong way anyway. I need to be up this way. That's, this goes through to a different spot. That fucking magical sniper boy up there. Oh, you respawn too? Of course, of course you do. I forgot about that. You respawn. Hello friends. Oh, there's a chest here as well. Oh, he's coming up. Big pumpkin head boy's coming up. Oh, that's a magic sword. That's still getting sniped by that fucking asshole. Where the fuck are you? You're all the way over there. I see you. 
you fucker. I wish you could jump over attacks on this horse more. You seem to, whenever you jump over an attack, it seems to still just be like, nah. I wanted to do like a fancy jump dodge thing. All right. Fucking ultra instinct dodge that sword, bro. <laughs> Aha! No more magic greatsword for you, bitch. Ugh, just... Just a sword with a long reach. How dare you? That's... Alright, you wanna play? Exactly. Ooh, we got the Knight's Greatsword. We do have the Knight's Greatsword. Alright, let's have a look. Knight's Great Sword. Skilled swordsman in the demigod service, and yet had no rank or title in the demigod service. Featuring a long grip enabling dual-handed use, this weapon was designed to dispatch larger foes. And it has the stamp upward cut ability. The weapons look so beautiful in this game. Like, it's such a nice design to them. Such a nice design to them. You there, you weren't even engaged in battle, you coward. You fucking coward. Ooh, Ray Lucarian Gauntlets. Another Albanuric Blood Clot is interesting. I love how these three are exactly the same, with different color grading and, like, weathering. It's they're exactly the same gauntlets. <laughs> gauntlets worn by Ray Lucaria Academy Soldiers. It's exactly the same. No change to them. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Do the previous Souls game have those, where it's like... Armor that looks exactly the same, but it's named differently, with just slightly different colorations. I don't remember that, whether that was a thing or not. I always thought, like, in memory, it always felt like all the armor was, like, unique. Like, if they're going to put armor in the game, in any of these games, I'd rather there be at least something for a visual change. Because that, all three of them looking the same is like, okay. Like, hey, what's the point? Just to go, look, I'm wearing the Ray Lucarian Academy gauntlets. I'm like, oh, cool. I, I couldn't tell unless I investigated. More jellyfish. It's always the headless spirits, huh? So there's another one. Another headless spirit. This one's got a cape. It's a giant with a cape. Hello, friends. Something I'm not sure of yet, in regards to those, is that they seem like they appear around Mausoleum Turtles, so I'm wondering if there's one around here, but we've also got Jellyfish. I've got a Side of Grace, I'll go back up here in a second, let me just get to this Grace. Touch Grace. Foot of the Four... <gasps> Foot of the Four Belfries. We found something that's in relation to a Belfry recently, and I don't remember what it was. Um, ordered by Acquisition. Something to do with a Belfry, guys. Oh, I need to use a Golden Seed. I need to use a Golden Seed. Um... One of these things. Yes! Breaks the seal on imp statues guarding the sending gates enshrined in each belfry. It was the imbued sword key. Uh, which reminds me to do one of these. Not one of these. That's the first time I've opened that menu. Uh, golden seeds. Okay. Do we still need two? Oh, it's bumped up to three. Um, and we need to remember to give that bell bearing to one of those maidens. The twin maid, uh, maidens. Um, we don't have a secret tier, do we? No. Okay. 
So is this a belfry down here? No, this is... that's... That's just going... that's just facing out to Leonia. But this is the way to the minor Erd tree, okay. I'm going up... I'm going back up this way first. jellyfish. What am I looking at? All the way over there. There we go. Sometimes the way that you're facing, you like stand out and you look on the map because the the very the point is very precise. <laughs> we That's the main academy gate. Look at that up there, right? So when we're looking at fucking Ray Lucaria, look at that up there. Look at that room up on that big platform. Look at that giant tower. So I guess that, hmm, okay, so the grand, that's the grand library, that makes sense. That's actually higher than I thought it was. Okay, that makes sense in context. The grand library is higher than I thought it was, but up there I think, I was thinking we might be able to go in there. Hmm. I think it's just the part of me that can't, is struggling to accept that Rei Lucaria just felt much smaller than I was ex expecting it to be, so every time I, I analyze it I'm like, why? Are you the way that you are? But that does make sense from this angle to be like, oh, that is actually the Grand Library. It's actually quite high. But yeah, it's a, it's a small place. It's a small place, but it's very vertical, I suppose. It's very vertical. Oh, hello. What are you protecting up here? This is the four... Okay, so this is the four belfries. This is the imp statue. Alright, fuck, I gotta deal with this guy. Whoa! How is it even possible for you to scream? You don't have a head. Oh, swords. And you're. Whoa! Okay, and you're quite strong. Okay, can I stop missing? There's another attack coming in. That was lucky. Nice. Oh, well what? I can't! <laughs> There's no head! For fucking sake. Maybe you shove it through the butthole? I don't even know. It's got a... It's a... Got a carrion royal sword. So... We put one of these in there, and it's going to activate one of these bad boys. Crumbling lands. Ooh, there's a message tied to each one. Is this is this a teleporting location? Is each one of these teleport us somewhere? It's one of each, dude. It's one of each. Precipice of Anticipation. Oh shit, does that take us to the, uh, the Chapel of Anticipation? From the beginning of the game? And then we get another chance to fight that, uh, that Scion boss. These four places must take us places that we can't get to otherwise. Night Sky Unceasing. Mm, I'm so curious about this. Alright, what's the final one? We've only got one of these. We have to choose wisely. We do have some grace here as well. Oh, this one's a chest. Wait. Okay. 
Oh, it's got, what if it's a teleporter chest? Hold on. <laughs> Three of them teleport you through those rings, but that one could be a teleporter trap. There's no message. Okay. The four bill freeze. One, two, three, four. No message on this one, but it's a chest. You reckon this is a teleporty chest? Or maybe it's a fragment. Maybe it's a key. It's a... There you go. That's the other choice. I'm like, it could be a key. Now we get to choose the destination. So we've got two now. We can open up two out of three of them. So it's not four. It's not four options, but three. And the fourth one just contains the key. Um, let's do the anticipation one. And then I'm not sure which other ones I want to do. Maybe the maybe we'll do the first one. And then once we find another one of those keys, um, we'll figure it out. We only need one more key then. Use imbued sword key. Let's have a look. Okay. Now this one goes to the precipice of anticipation. Travel to another location. Do we reckon this is going to be the Chapel of Anticipation from the beginning of the game? It fucking is too. It is. There you go. It's just taken us to... Oh, fuck. Oh! That's how we get to this place! This is the beginning of the game. Oh, fuck. What? Oh. So, let's travel to the Chapel of Anticipation. Holy fuck. I can't believe that that was the beginning. That's where we started. This is insane. I did not expect us to be at this part of the... I didn't think it would be there. I also didn't expect to ever go back. I just thought that was just like a random starting area. Like, that was like off elsewhere. It was right next to fucking Stormvale. Holy shit. So anyway, uh, I was like, oh cool, is this going to be items or something that's glowing? They fucking trolls, man. <laughs> Absolute trolls. Because um, that's, ch that's the chapel where we started. Wow. See, I thought that there was going to be a, potentially a way over here by figuring out something to do with the church. Maybe it would open up like a pathway. So you can only access it via the four belfries. Ah, oh, yeah, see, they are items. Nascent butterflies. You just can't get those ones. What the fuck? So this is a chance for us to do a rematch against that boss from the beginning. I guess that'll be what's through this gate. That's so funny. What happens if you were able to... Yeah, what happens if you're able to beat the boss right at the beginning? This would be so weird. A grafted scion. Rematch, baby! Oh, this is fun. <laughs> and obviously we've faced off against just this enemy type in Stormvale as well. You must be lonely out here, you grafted scion. You don't have many friends! What the fuck? Golden... Golden swords. Okay. Don't get greedy. I was getting so greedy and trying to just kill it without healing then. And now seemingly I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> I can't get the final hit, man. <laughs> die! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. 
ornamental straight sword and a golden beast crest shield. Nice. So if we somehow managed to kill this enemy at the beginning of the game, would we have gotten that gear? That's so sick. Slender straight sword patterned after an antique ornament. Superior swordsmen prefer to wield one in each hand. After falling from grace, the dregs of the golden lineage sought power and purpose in the past. Unique skill is golden tempering. Cross the two swords to grant their attacks holy essence. Oh, fuck yeah. While in effect, strong attack performs a dual wielding combo attack. Dude, that's sick. Nice. And then we got a shield. The Golden Beast Crest Shield, shield of dull gold with a beast engraved in its as its crest. Lighter than most great shields and subsequently easier to wield. The beast depicted is Sorosh, aged counselor, uh, counselor who guides the Golden Lineage. Sorosh, Sorosh, no skill. Well, fuck. Here I am, expecting this location to be a fucking amazing, cool spot that we can eventually get to. We're like, I want to go over there. And it's where we came from at the beginning of the game for a chance to rematch a boss. So I guess those keys are used to just take you to a uh, usually, I guess, inaccessible location to then uh, fight a, a, a boss. And in this case, it's the, the very first enemy that we go up against. Holy fuck. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. And that's where we got, like, the wizened finger. This is where we woke up, dude. Me wondering if there's, like, a way to get up there. So, I guess, it, it's, I guess I'm wondering if the only purpose of coming back here is just for that boss fight. Yeah, there's Stormvale right there. God, it makes so much sense with context of where you are. It makes so much sense. So it was just a, just a boss fight. Damn, I was expecting like a cool, like, full location out of that. That's crazy that it's not actually really anything. Uh, we've got one more key, so do we go to the, what is it, the Night Unending, or there's another one? And then we just need to figure out how to get this, um, oh nice, <laughs> now we just need to figure out how to get this last, uh, key. Night Sky Unceasing, that one. What's this one called? This is Crumbling Lands. So I guess it might be teleporting us to a place that's, like, I guess, yeah, like I said, unaccessible. I don't think there's anywhere else around here. So there must, it might be somewhere on a, on the map that we haven't explored yet. Hmm. You know what sounds better to me than Crumbling Lands? Night sky unceasing. That sounds really cool. We're gonna do that one. And then when we find this next magical sword key, we'll be able to open up the final the final door. Alright, let's go. Travel to another location. Where are we where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, what the fuck? Oh fuck! Hang on. Oh, we're underground. Oh shit! We fucking can get to this spot. Oh my god, Nokron, the Eternal City. Holy shit! That's how we get over this side, dude. Oh fuck. Night sky unceasing. Oh, dude. Oh, well, how the fuck do we get over there? Oh, 
Oh, we can go down. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So maybe we've been taken. Yeah. Okay. We're we're limited. Okay. So we've just gotten a little taste of Nokron, the Eternal City, up here, which is over there. We can't fucking get there yet. Not from here, because this is a little teleportation thingy. Which takes us to that fight. Which takes us to a fight. We've seen this guy standing off in the distance before. Okay. So, the four belfries, they're th the three teleporting locations, teleports you specifically to a location you can't usually get to otherwise. Uh, and it's a boss fight. So now we're gonna... We, we have a rematch. Well, not a rematch. Uh, another match with what looks to be a fucking crucible knight. God damn it. Oh god. It's actually scary jumping down from these heights, dude. Okay. So that's how we get over here. I wonder what the crumbling lands boss would have been. I'll have to find out when we get that key. Ooh, can I fight this boss on horseback? That's an interesting take. And this is how we knew that we could get over here. Initially, because we were over that side. Mottled necklace. Raises robustness, immunity, and focus. A vividly colored accoutrement precious to the ancestral followers. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers. That says the same on here. Okay. I wonder if we're allowed to get a backstab. Trickin would be allowed to get a backstab. hard time thinking we'd be allowed to get a backstab. I feel like it could be a trap. Yeah, yeah, okay, he fucking knows. I also feel like it's a terrible idea to fight on horseback on a small bridge. Okay, I changed my mind. Oh, he's coming at me! He's also not a boss, what the fuck? He's just a normal enemy, and he hits like a truck! Actually, fuck. Yeah, he f fights exactly like the Crucible Knight. He looks exactly... He looks exactly like the... He looks slightly different than the Crucible Knight, I think. Slightly different coloration. He looks exactly like the Knight. Um, exactly like the Knight that's on that loading screen next to that, uh, that woman. I wonder if that loading screen shot is from the, the, from the Eternal City in that case. I can't be the only one who's feeling, like, a little bit, like, bummed that there isn't a, a point of lost grace in each of these locations, so I don't have to continually go through the teleporter, but okay. <laughs> I have to continually do this on my way down. Every time. Uh, I don't even know if I can beat him yet, because I was doing nothing to him, and he was doing everything to me. So, I'm not so sure about this fight. I'd have to get my runes and go, dude. He's also not a boss. He's just a standard enemy, which is very surprising. Just a tough one at that. But I assume he'd probably give us some good loot. I feel like that's probably the point. And he's not able to be backstabbed. Dude, even Unsheath barely even touched him. Oh, shit, man. No! Oh, here we go. It's fucking dragon. It's fucking wings time. And dragon tail shit. Here we go. It begins. Actually, what the fuck is that? Okay, he's got new shit. New shit. What the fuck was that? 
Ah, oh, fell for the fucking shield again. I always fall for that fucking shield bash, dude. Oh shit. So he doesn't have a dragon tail, but he's got some fucking what the fuck? He's got some fucking shit, that's what he's got. What the hell, man? Oh, I can do a jumping version? Shit, no! Oh! That would have been a- that would have been a death, bro. That would have been a death. Okay. I disagree, but okay. I, uh, that I can't really disagree with. Oh my god. Should have popped this one way before. Yes! Fuck you. Gave me so much less trouble than Crucible Knight. You know why? Because that fucking dragon tail. Also, he didn't even give us anything. What the fuck is that? He didn't even give us anything? Why, man? I wish I went to the Crumbling Lands. What if this is an invisible bridge? Oh, this is an invisible bridge. It is not an invisible bridge. <laughs> not an invisible bridge. That would be so magical. Imagine if you had to just ride up there on magical bridge. How the fuck do we get there? How do we get up there by normal circumstances? Crazy. Alright, well, Nokron the Eternal City is over the other side. Just if you guys wanted to f know that shit. Because holy crap. That's a thing. Um, so once we get our next key, we can go back to the four belfries and go to the crumbling lands. Disappointed that we didn't get an item uh, from that uh, from that encounter. That kind. That's a uh, slightly slightly disappointing. Uh, let's keep pushing ahead though to the minor herb tree. Because at least we we got victory and second time as well. That was we had some close deaths in there. Ooh. Oh, it's is it another singing bat? Yes, it's another one. It's another one. All right, this time I don't want to atta accidentally attack it. Oh, I'd already stopped singing. Damn. I really wanted to get a better look at it. The concept of a singing bat enemy is just so weird. Let's get a better look at it. Oh! Wait a minute. Is it a person in a bat suit? Or what? It's like... No, it's... Yeah, it's like a halfway point. It's a human... It's kind of... Turned into a bat. So it's like, maybe like a halfway point in the transformation, but that face is... Ah, the chomping! That face is horrifying, dude. That face is fucking horrifying. Beautiful singing voice, though. But, fuck me. Ugly. <laughs> but there's another one, though. That's our second singing bat encounter. Oh, I've just been able to walk. Oh, I've just been able to walk up this whole time. Um, for some reason, I thought that was more of like a an edge to the cliff. Apparently, it's very easily accessible. We were going up a very long way to get up here. Ooh, never mind. Oh fuck! It's another ever jail. <laughs> Kaku's ever jail. Oh shit. Okay. We got another ever jail, guys. Let's go. First try with all of my runes that I should be leveling up with. Alright, who's this? It's dark in here. Who's this? Oh, that you're bigger than I expected. Bowls, the carrier knight. Holy shit, look at the helm on his head. There you go. He's huge. 
Ah, talk about a wind-up attack. Oh, fuck. Okay, carrying knight. That's, that's one hell of a ground pound, bud. God damn. I'm sick of the positioning for this. Let me get it. <laughs> get it. Thank you. God, man. What are you doing? Is he jumping? He jumped. What the fuck? Ah! Oh, God. One hit, dude. <laughs> Great Blade Phalanx, nice. Great Blade Phalanx, gotcha. Man, they really made Crucible Knight just the, the OP, Everjail boss, and every other one has been quite manageable. Bowls, the Carrion Knight trapped in the Everjail. Um, fuck, what do, we, what do we get? We got Great Blade. Used by the enchanted troll knights, they were the comrades of the young Renala bound by oath. So sick. Okay. Should have. I should have, uh. Yeah, that might be another Ever Jail then. That's an Ever Jail, maybe. I love how I, like, pointed out, and I'm like, that's an Ever Jail. I'm like, actually, maybe. <laughs> I should stop being so certain. Hey, where's my horse? Um. I should have expected that to be an ever jail. If you uh, if you ever see a nipple on the map, probably an ever jail. It's an ever jail or a well, one of the two. Never an actual nipple. Very misleading. All right, so we're going to get to the Erd tree from here, and then getting up on the cliff is anyone's guess how that's actually going to take place, but we'll see. Ooh. I got automatically booted off my Revengers Shack. With a bunch of Oh god. Edgar the Revenger! Okay, well that makes sense. Edgar the Revenger. Wait a minute. We know an Edgar. This is the this is the dude from Castle Morn. That is one hell of a fucking spin move, dude. Dude, this is Edgar. So he's just straight up like sworn revenge on um, his. Uh, okay. He straight up swore revenge, but now he's like blind with rage to the point where he's like taking us out too. Fuck. And he dropped a Shabriri Grape. Banished Knight's Halberd, too. More raw meat dumplings. So, um, Arena, from long, long time ago, Edgar said he was going to find, track down people and get revenge. And I guess he did that. At the Revenger's Shack. But then for some reason couldn't differentiate from friend or foe. Because we were not opposed to him. And then he's come in as... A, we've had to kill him. But we got another one of those Shabriri grapes. Uh, so we should try and find... Uh, what was their name? I have to go back through my list again. Um, Hayeta? Hayeta, searching for the grapes. Um, I wonder if she's marked on the map anywhere. Because she moves. Give it to the blind maiden. Give her literal an eyeball grape. Um, wild dude. Um, should put one of these things on. Should change this. Raise my vitality. Um, let me see. 
What do I actually want to put on? You gotta do. I'll put on this for critical hits, restoring HP. Maybe that could be cool. I'm not really sure. Uh, but we got a halberd as well. Let's have a look at that. Banished Knight's Halberd. A finely crafted halberd, intricately engraved with an ancient motif given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. Spinning strike skill. A plus eight weapon is pretty cool. It's got C for deck scaling as well, which is also nice. Far out. Um, I'm assuming the corpse of Irina, uh, Irina would still be there. Time to, time to level up finally though. Uh, bump our strength up to 20. Um, let me scour this landscape. I wonder where she would have moved to. So, we encountered her right at the beginning, here. And then we encountered her later on here, at the Purified Ruins. So that's not much of a distance. And we've got another grape, so she's got to be around here somewhere, but she's not marked on the map. So... If she went up here, I wonder if she's going to continue to be on the ground, or whether she might have gone up this way. I'm really curious. I might have to do I might have to do some scouring of the landscape. And that's a teleporter. I might have to do some scouring of the landscape to see if we can find her. So let's go up to the the minor erd tree first. That was an unexpected encounter though for sure. It's going to be tough trying to keep an keep an eye out for her. How hard can it be to find a blind girl? Oh yeah, we got more of these tree dudes again. Oh, we've got another one of these statues that will lead us to a dungeon at the base of the Erd Tree. That's cool. Another one of these. Been a while. Lead us to more catacombs, please. So that'll be down here somewhere. Hell yeah. Sometimes you call my horse and it just says no, I don't want to appear right now. Uh. Ashes of War, Sword Dance. Sword Dance. Let's have a look at that. Keen affinity. Quickly close in to perform a series of spinning upward slashes. Follow up with an additional input to finish with a downward slash. Cool. Oh, we got a bunch of bat boys. I really just been enjoying my unsheath ability way too much to ever change it. I need to. But I think what's a cool idea, what I'm going to do, is that second Uji Katana that I have is the one that I can use to change the Ash of War on. I think I'll do that. We'll upgrade that Uji Katana and I will uh, put on a new ability. Because I really want to be able to get into more like types of attacks and different weapons and stuff. Um, I like to experiment usually on like further, further playthroughs when I get around to that and try new things or like later on in the playthrough, but I'm really liking my current, my current build. There we go. But I'll have to I'll have to play around with with some new skills and some new weapons. Roads end catacombs. Okay. Roads end. Let's have a look. Oh my god, and of course, and of course, 
got our lovely imp friends today. No way that the lever is right here. I'm not falling for that again, you fucking... Every, every corner. I don't trust any corner in catacombs anymore, dude. <laughs> Why is the lever so close to us? I'm mistrusting. Fuck, alright. Well, I guess the... I guess the heavy door is further in to the catacombs instead. There's a way to shake it up. And maybe we have to go all the way through to get to the heavy door. Instead of going all the way through to get to the... Um, the lever. That's a trap. Accidentally landed on it when I knew it was there. I was like, ah! Accidentally stepped too far. Okay, you should have died, you fucking cunt. Enemies surviving with, like, the smallest millimeter of health. It's only allowed when I do it. Well, that's an invisible wall, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Very obviously placed one. You know what's cool? Is the catacomb illusory walls are, are quite obvious, which is, which is nice. They're like, literally, almost placed there for your eye to be suspicious of them. Same with, luckily, the one with the black knife in, uh, the black knife print, like... The two illusory walls we've found have been probably the most obvious illusory walls that I've come across. It's like, in Dark Souls, some of them are very obscure. We had messages on for Dark Souls 1, which helped substantially, you know, as you do. Uh, but then, whenever we would find another one in Dark Souls 2 and 3, it was super rewarding. Um, such a nice feeling to actually find them. I'm sure that there's many, many more. But at this current point in time, the only thing that we have to go off is that we found two in catacombs. So we don't actually know if they're only tied to catacombs or not. <laughs> So we'll just have to wait and see if we can find another one uh, that's out in the world. We've got the Rare Lucaria Soldier Ashes. A trio of spirits consisting of two disposable foot soldiers and their superior. The soldiers of Rare Lucaria were also known as the Cuckoos. They were given free reign of the Academy to wage war as they pleased, and they were infamous for their rapacious ways. Ah, uh, where's the door, however? Where's the... Where's the heavy door? Did we actually run past the heavy door at the, uh, like, f further back? Wait a minute. Oh, I've confused myself. Hang on. Sorry. I'm trying to itch my chin while I'm still running. Yeah, this is the beginning. Hang on a minute. What the fuck? Alright, so the door's somewhere else. Maybe there's another illusory wall somewhere. Or I've just missed a very obvious opening. Oh fuck, now I gotta try places. <laughs> Sometimes you slice through a door, or like you... Nice, there you go. Sometimes you slice through a wall and it looks like it's an illusory one because your sword doesn't bounce off of it. The illusory wall catacombs, baby. They exist. So I'm assuming this is our way to get to the heavy door that's just opened. Sneaky. And a rune arc. Two illusory walls in one, dude. Root resin. Hang on. What? Okay, you just keep on going. Okay. I'm like, eh, what are you doing? Okay. It's just Yeah. There you go. There's our there's our door. Okay. <laughs> Push forward and you will be rewarded. 
the illusory wall catacomb dungeon. Alright, what's waiting for us at the bottom? Nothing. Spirit caller. Spirit caller snail. Oh. That's not a snail. What the fuck? That's false advertisement. I was waiting for a snail. What the fuck? Hang on, what? I didn't do any damage to it. Oh, there's a fucking... There is a snail in here and it's the spirit caller. Hold on a minute. Are you with a glowing thing? Yes, it is a fucking snail! <laughs> what the fuck? Where's the... Th <laughs> it's the fucking Witch of Hemwick tactic. Oh my god, it's an actual snail! That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> it's just lit up. Oh my god. It's like a snake scale. What the snake snail? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it was such a fucking shock. I'm like, what the fuck? I did no damage! And I'm like, oh wait, it must be an actual snail. Not me looking for something that was actually going to be super tiny and potentially hard to hit. Imagine if it was a boss that you just had to run around and it was the size of an actual snail and you just had to run and like step on it to win the boss fight. I'd laugh so fucking hard if that was the way that it was. But instead, instead it was a snake snail. That's so hard to say. Snake snail. It had a fucking snake head. What the fuck? And it dropped glintstone sorcerer ashes, not that boss thing that was summoned instead. Spirit of a Ray Lucario sorcerer wearing a stone crown, a scholar of the Elevenous Conspectus who has mastered the use of the glintstone stars sorcery. Fuck yeah. Looks like I can go behind there. Alright, I'll return to the entrance. That was my favorite catacombs yet. <laughs> it was just such a fucking shock. Uh, the catacombs bosses are fucking great, man. They're great. I want to see. I want to see more of that enemy again. I want to fight snake snails. That is so fucking weird. Oh my god. Just fucking shocking, man. Just absolutely shocking. They're really like, yeah, Miyazaki's like, yeah, so in the catacombs here they fight a snail. And it uh, summons a, a makeshift enemy in place of it. And it does a Witch of Hemwick on us. And is uh, invisible. Ooh, another one of these towers. No way, hang on. Oh no, I've been here. Oh, what the fuck? We've been so close to this Erd tree the whole time. Um, for some reason, for some reason, you'll have to. I want to explain myself because you guys are probably like, dude, just go to the converted tower, dude. Just travel the converted tower. The Erd tree's right there. Uh, I thought that this tower, as well as Village of the Albanorix, I thought both of these locations. We're underground. You know how you we can actually go under here? And that location is actually not on top, but it's below. That's what I thought that was. And I thought that was also underneath, which is why I never went down there. Which is why I never went down there. Um, Because I, yeah, fuck. Well, I forgot about the converted tower actually being on top of the ground. Oh no, it's another Erd Tree avatar. Another Erd Tree Avatar! Alright, this one's not being blocked by a bunch of ancestral spirits, at least. That's nice. What do you think... Uh, it's a tree, so would it be weak against... Uh, would it be weak against fire? Would it be weak against fire? Let's find out. It's a tree. Flame Katana. Use one of these bad boys for the first time. Ouch. Shit. So 
So it does like 185, kind of. I meant to dodge, but it was queuing up another attack. Fuck. Okay, so with fire, it does like 185. I wonder if we'll find out if it does more damage, if the fire runs out in this fight or not. Oh, it ran out. A very inopportune moment. Alright, hang on. Yes, it did do more damage against the tree. Did like 30 extra damage to the tree. Nice. Oh, nice final blow. Oh, fuck you, Erd Tree Avatar. You're gone. So they're not guarding every single minor Erd Tree. Just some of them. Just some of them. Cerulean Crystal Tear Ruptured Crystal Tear. Fuck yeah. Only the ones that have the pot remains um, have the Erd Tree avatars. So there's been three so far. Let's have a look around here. Ow. Just enemies. Beautiful scenery, though. Look at that. I would just love to get, like... Because when you look out on the map, you see, like, these ships and stuff. I'd love if there was, like, a ship. And you could, like, travel to a distant land. Further away. That would be so beautiful. Our way up here is going to be very interesting, then. I wonder how we do that. We'll find a way up there. We'll figure it out. I think we've got to get these other halves of the medallion and figure that out. But I think with this one, guys, I'm going to bring this episode of Elden Ring to a close on this beautiful sunset. Look at this sky as the night stars are already coming in. It's just an absolutely gorgeous skybox. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, our first episode with this new update with a couple of really nice changes, which I, I thought were awesome. And we'll just have to see what happens next time. Uh, we'll, uh, where will we go next time? Where will we go next time? I don't even know. Um, maybe up this way? Maybe to Rani's Manor? That would be a, probably a good place to start, I think, going up there. Maybe figuring out if there is a way for us to get up here from somewhere. This looks like it could potentially be like a lift to get up and then go up through here. Uh, we'll have to analyze this location and see if we can if we can get up here at this current point in time or whether we have to do something else. Uh, but with that one, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.